Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Keisha J. Lewis and I'm back with another video on the topic of PCOS and weight loss. Now, this is my own personal experience, my own personal opinion. I'm just sharing it with you. Now, when I say PCOS, what that stands for is polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is a hormone imbalance in a lot of women. Well, actually, one in every 15 women experience this syndrome. It's actually like an imbalance in your estrogen levels. And let me break it down for you. So what happens is, from my own personal experience, I've had this from I was in puberty. From I was young, tender age, when you now start to see your period, what happens is you notice that you have irregular periods. Irregular, you know, normally every month you're supposed to get your period. Well, with me, I used to have irregular period, like maybe every other month, or maybe sometimes five times for the year, I'm getting my period. And this was when I was like a teenager, I was young, and I didn't really know what's going on. Now, eventually when I get older, I get to understand that this is not supposed to be happening. And then when I went to the doctor, they explained it to me that it's actually small cysts, they grow on the ovaries. Now, you're going to say, where did this come from? Most of the time, this is gen it's generic, family traits. It could also be in the foods that we eat, like so much hormone in the foods that we eat, especially like certain meats and stuff like that. Now, this situation occurs in a lot of women and we don't even know it's happening. We don't even want to talk about it because it's very sensitive. So I'm being, I'm being very transparent right now. So what happens is you get irregular period. You also get a lot of like acne, especially around these areas, face acne. You also get like um, air growing underneath your neck or you notice that your hair grows very fast in your armpits or your pubic area. And I mean, it's uncomfortable. We don't really talk about it, but it's something that happens in a lot of women. And some of the other issues that you also get with this is hair loss, like your hairline is very thinning in the front area. Yes, these occur in the polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, you may say, what can you do to, you know, help with this situation? What can you do? Because when you have the polycystic ovarian syndrome, it's very hard for a lot of women to even lose weight. You tend to gain weight when you have polycystic ovarian syndrome. I've had this for years. I've struggled with this for years. And what the doctors say, what they say that could help to, you know, ease this situation, because as I said, it's cysts. It's small cysts. They grow on the ovaries. And, you know, the things that we eat, especially a lot of starch, oily foods, you know, contributes to its growth. So it's like a baby, basically put it like, it's like a baby that you have in your ovaries, you know, in the middle section area. And you notice a lot of women, they actually have like high tummy, they have a punch in their belly area because their hormone is imbalanced, right? So sometimes you see a lot of women with hair on their skin and they, their face especially, or acne in these areas. I have these acne. And I've always used to be wondering what, like, what's going on? Even when I'm trying my best to eat clean, like what's going on? And when I went to my gynecologist and they explained it to me, they say you have a hormone imbalance. Your estrogen level is so high. And you know, they normally recommend metformin, which is like sugar tablets. They normally even recommend you go on birth control. And this is just to bring back your period on a regular basis. They even mention that you're, um, sometimes a lot of women with this situation, they have infertility, right? And that's because your period is not coming on a monthly basis. Now, you didn't cause this on yourself. So don't feel that you, you know, you caused, because as I said, this happened since I was a teenager. This happened when I started to see my period and I just, for no, out of nowhere, my period wasn't coming. And I was kind of embarrassed, didn't know what to say to my parents because it's like, what are you gonna tell your parents? You know, they're gonna be thinking, oh, you're active or something in the sexual area. And that wasn't happening for me. But I kept it private until I was older and then I went to the doctor and let them know, you know, what was going on. And they explained to me that this is something that could be passed down in your family line. It's something that could, it could come from the foods that you eat. And they recommend for me to get metformin. They recommend um, birth control. Yeah. 
they recommend these things to ease or to soothe this thing for it to go so for the cyst to get smaller you need to reduce the cyst the more the cyst grows the more weight you put on the more you get fat and it's gonna be hard for you to lose the weight and that's why you notice a lot of women who have the polycystic ovarian syndrome they're overweight most of them not all and it's hard for you to lose the weight now I'm here to let you know that I have experienced this. This is I'm being as transparent as possible because I'm sharing my own personal experience with you to let you know that there is a way that you can get out of this situation without all these medications, without all these metformin or birth control situation, and all they talk about, you know, your face and your acne, it will never go away. No, there is a way you could actually, you know, soothe the situation. You no longer feed it right and that is by you eating more on you know alkaline which is when i say alkaline is less like you know oily saturated trans foods and you turn to eating more leafy vegetables more greens more nuts and seeds now with me all the years i struggle with the weight and i was you know i was exercising all of these things and i was just not losing the weight and then I started to do some research, I started to read, and that's when I got the knowledge that I needed, and I noticed that if I cut out all the starchy food, because right now I only eat like rice and flour like maybe once or twice for the month. When I cook like my, you know, my curry chicken or my stew chicken, I, I mostly do peas and beans and vegetable on the side. I'm not saying that you can't eat your rice and your, and your dumpling and stuff, and I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you, you don't want to be feeding these cysts. You don't want to be feeding the cysts, right? It's, it's not a baby that you want to keep. It's a baby you want to get rid of. You understand? So all I'm saying is that you need to eat more alkaline food right you need to eat more plant-based drink more water and exercise that is how i ended up you know no medication on my part and my period you know for years i've gone back to be regular every single month natural flow you know i know i'm not infertile i've been to the gynecologist i've checked up on a regular basis and everything is good on my part before it wasn't before it wasn't before i mean i was overweight a lot of cysts when i went back to the doctor they're like keisha you've lost some weight or something what have you been doing because i'm not seeing the cysts anymore where did your cysts go i'm like i'm not feeding that baby that's not the baby i want to have so i'm not feeding it i'm trying to find a way to sweat it out and eat my greens and my veggies so that I know, I mean, a girl loves to eat and I like good food, but at the end of the day, my health comes first. My health comes first and PCOS is not going to come and kick my ass. It is not going to come and kick my ass. So for all the women out there who, you know, go through this situation, I want you to drop a one in the Drop, drop a one in the comment section. Let me know that I'm not going through this alone because a lot of women don't talk about this. It's something that's very sensitive. Let me know in the comment section. Just drop a one. You don't have to say anything to let me know that you're, you know, you're here and you know what I'm going through. You know, you could also remember to like and subscribe so like so I could know that you're here supporting me because I'm on this journey because my health comes first and I deserve the best. I deserve everything good in this world. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. As I said, I try to be as transparent as possible. PCOS is something that a lot of women experience, but we just don't talk about it. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.